after you left Broadway, you took Hairspray to Las Vegas. Yeah. And you had the experience. <laughs> Remember, this This is kind of all crested a little bit, but you were part of that wave of Broadway was going to take it. Vegas, yeah, Vegas the West, place. The West, the West, Broadway of, of, of the West Coast. Broadway, that's right, exactly. Yeah. And everyone was having to chop their shows down to 90 minutes and that sort it of thing. It was the Post and, Avenue Q rampage. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. And, no, and just before oh, Avenue oh, Q bombed. Right. Right. That's right, right. Before it closed. And how were those Vegas audiences? They had um, those drinks, these, these <laughs> yard long drinks that they actually hang around your neck <laughs> so, that you, so that you won't drop so it you won't because drop they're so them big. And they would come down the aisle with two of them and the glasses <laughs> clogging together, you know, at, 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 like two pendulous breasts <laughs> as the people came down the aisle plonk and plonk with the popcorn in one hand and the hot dog in the other. Well, let's start from outside the theater. We were at the Luxor which yeah. is a pyramid. So it's like, <laughs> honey, let's go on vacation. I know, we'll go to a tomb. <laughs> let's go to a tomb on vacation. What else do we got? And you arrive at this black tomb, which in the basement of which they put on hairspray. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you go down, you go down the basement of the tomb, and if you turned right, wait, we were left. So. We, you know, <laughs> facing you, stage right, stage left. You know how it is with actors, stage actors. Um, if you went one way, it was Mamma Mia, and the other way was, was hairspray down in the basement. And and you go in, and you picked up your yard-long drinks, and you hung them around your neck and got some food, because this is a 90-minute show. You have to get through it. You know, you need at least a gallon and a half of alcohol. And you come down into this theater where we put on hairspray, which was only 90 minutes. You know, probably it's two and a half hours, two hours and 35 five minutes, I think, and um, <coughs> we told the story so fast, we didn't know what we were saying half the time. It was just changing clothes, changing clothes, changing clothes. I was like, I just felt like I ran out on stage and went, here's this dress, okay, here's this dress, and then I went, okay. It was insanity, it was insanity. And, and we did three shows a night. And don't they get up in the middle of the show to get more drinks? <laughs> well, some did. Most of them just fell asleep, it was fine. But um, they was, those were the nice ones, they, they slept through it. It was, it was fine, and that's quite a loud show to sleep through. But this theater was designed for, for a chariot race. Right. Originally, it was that's when, when <laughs> the Luxor first opened. There was a chariot race down there, so this thing was so big. It was like a fifteen-minute walk. It reminded, there was a record when I was a kid. If the if history was Jewish, and all you heard was Marie Antoinette to the guillotine, <laughs> the walk alone could kill me. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what I felt like every night going from my dressing room to get to the finale. It was, <laughs> across the stage was so big it was so tiny. on Broadway you know how, the, how you measure out feet yeah, it's, yeah. you have zero center stage and then it goes out and I think here on Broadway it goes to 10 and 10 on this side right. in Las Vegas it was 46, <laughs> 46 on this side. it was like Tracy and you and it's like <sighs> don't forget your school book and then you like look back I have to go all the way back there now <laughs> It was hysterical. The stage was so big that the entire orchestra came down stage during the finale. They rode down. So they spent multi millions of dollars on this production, and still I had to sit in that damn can for 20 minutes. <laughs>